Hi everyone, I'm Laurencio and in this video I'm going to talk about all major league baseball games for the Sony PSP. So MLB is a good start and considering that it was released at the debut of the PSP, people weren't familiar with the full capabilities of the PSP. A big concern for fans will be that there is no franchise mode, but you still get quick play each season and online, and you can still set multiple lineups and pitch ups, rotations, swap players between the active and inactive rosters, manage injuries, sign free agents and set up trades with the CPU, so the game still has a lot of depth. Also each player has different stats and behaves in a realistic way, and the pitches are so varied that they are satisfying and believable. Also you have the option to speed up the game from the menu screen. Also the game has no TV style replays, close up or homer celebrations. It's more plain than the console versions. In Rust the commentary is great, the animations look good, player behavior is awesome, it's a solid game. Major League Baseball 2K6 is the same solid experience, with great looks, unlockables and fun game modes. In short, it's totally worth it. It's worth buying it if you want a good baseball experience, just like all the other MLB games for the PSP. They managed to make great games, a great series of games, but they aren't that distinct from each other year by year, similar to FIFA games, which kind of copy paste the same thing and add just a little pinch of something new so that you can you can say that it's the same game but still they are solid games and even if they have their fair share of problems and glitches and long loading times they are still solid games and MLB 2K6 is in the same category Major League Baseball 2K7 is a solid game. Right from the start you are prompted with multiple game modes like quick game, season, franchise, GM career where you make your own character and become a coach. You also get a situation mode, manager showdown, tournament and different home run derbies. And the franchise mode surprisingly has the Xbox and PS3 updates, meaning that you can negotiate contracts, call up players from the minors, sign free agents, keep tabs on your players moods, make trades and more. The graphics look nice, almost like the console ones, but well, obviously downscaled, but the graphics still look close to the plug bound consoles, which is awesome. And overall the game plays very good. Aside the graphics, it feels like the same thing like on the console versions. Nothing feels cut out, I mean. You never feel like you are playing on a handheld console. And this is a big plus for the PSP. Major League Baseball 2K8 has new game modes. You could say that you get four different career modes. First, Pen and Fever which throws you into a game with a team of randomly generated stats and you play the final month to win the World Series. This mode is great for people who just want something quick and epic. The season mode is familiar to you, the franchise mode you already know what it is and what it has, it's the one with the many management options. You also get the GM mode where you make your own character, you can be one of four types of coaches and in this one you get again the home run derby modes and even tag derbies. In Major League Baseball 2K9 there is a new mode, the farm, where you play with a minor league team. Also they ditch the right analog pitching with the face pi button pitching. Some may like it, some may not, but well it's different to pitch with the face buttons. In Rust there is a new commentary team and that's about it with the novelties. As in Rust you get all the game modes till now and all the occasional graphical glitches like weird player animations you stumbled upon in the other games too. They are still present in this one. The players start to jitter and it rains the immersion, but if you have good humor you'll find the jittery players funny. In Major League Baseball 2K10 they tried to imitate the console quality again, but this time they failed big time. The loading times are huge and too many, and the animations are jerky and ruin the fun. And the AI goes between stupid and incredibly difficult. 
Also due to the performance issues, the game is too hard to play. Not because the game is too hard, but because the tiny PSP can't run the game properly. Also there is a new mode, the My Player Game Mode, where you step under the skin of... You guessed it. Shrek. No. As the game mode's name says, you step under the skin of a player. But you play the whole match only with the chosen player. And... Oh, and they return to the analog stick pitch controls. In Major League Baseball 2K11, they improved the franchise mode, adding new features, like allowing you to manage your minor league divisions and making the injuries and trades more detailed. In Rust, they tweaked the performance and improved the animations, now they are less jittery and the AI is slightly better. And it's nice that you can tweak the difficulty in detailed ways, but don't expect the game to be bug-free or glitch-free. It's just that they occur a little less than before, but they still occur often enough, the bugs and glitches. In Major League Baseball 2K12, I realized something. Here the differences get more and more obvious. With each installment, they kind of made the games worse and worse. I mean, MLB 2K6 was solid. And the next ones too, 2007, 2008, 2009, but from 2010 up until now, they kind of ruined the games. But as time passed, even if they downgraded the graphics, the game remained jittery and glitchy. And in 2K12, they really made it clear. It doesn't have new game modes, the gameplay is kind of bad with the many performance issues and clunky controls, they managed to get the game to be worse and worse with each installment. What was promising at first turned out to be almost more and more disappointing as time passed. But there's hope, people. MLB 2K isn't the only MLB series on the PSP. But in tandem, MLB The Show was released each year. Let's get into this series and see how it turned out. After all, MLB The Show were always the more expensive counterparts of MLB for the PSP. You had two categories, either buy the cheaper but worse MLB 2K or pay the extra fee and get the better MLB The Show. Now let's get into MLB The Show series. It's not that different but well, it's a little bit better than 2K. Remember the minus one on this list? That was the first one in the show lineup. It was good for starters but it lacked some game modes. Now MLB 2060 show adds those to make the experience better. In this game you finally get a career mode, where you create your own player, get your own locker room, be part of the team you want to get in, and train to be the best. Also it's nice that they added the option to complain to your manager. You also get a season mode and a home run derby mode, and you also get king of the diamond an arcade style minigame that offers a timer pitcher battle duel. In MLB 2070 show you get a new mode, Road to the Show, where you create a player again, but this time you don't play every pitch of every game, you only play when you're directly involved into the game. And the mode has a lot of depth. It prompts you with many options, but the premise is that you start as a nobody and become a star. In Rust you get the same game modes like quick matches, season mode, manager mode, home run derbies, career, king of the diamond, there is still no franchise mode, but even without it, the game still is pretty solid. Also pitching is by far superior to MLB 2K, which had some clunky pitching. Here the system is way better and more intuitive, but still this game too has long loading times and occasional bugs and glitches. Major League Baseball 2008 The Show improves every aspect of the previous game, having better animations, more animations, better frame rates, clearing some of the bugs and glitches, and the stats of each player are tweaked, so that the experience will seem more realistic. Oh, and the AI is tougher now, so 2008 seems to be a very good year for most sports games. MLB 2008 included. Major League Baseball 2009 The Show takes away stuff, because why not? 
If they improved in the previous game, they need to ruin the next one. They took out the King of the Diamond minigame. So instead of fixing bugs and glitches that are still present even in this game and are plenty, no, they took out something and left the glitchy buggy mess untouched. They also added a, a guess the pitch feature that does exactly what the name says, but they should have focused on fixing stuff rather than taking out stuff. Major League Baseball 10 the show doesn't seem different to the other games. Of course that the cover and the roster is changed, but gameplay wise I mean, things don't seem so different. But at least now you get the diamond minigame back. Major League Baseball 11 the show doesn't add anything. It's the same experience but with a roster update, which doesn't change the gameplay. So basically, Major League Baseball 11 is the same game but with a new paint job. Oh, and there are some slight tweaks, like for example the AI that can get very difficult. But even if they didn't change anything in gameplay, and the games are buggy and glitchy, still they remain solid experiences. They are good games, in spite of the loading times and the glitches and bugs. They are still solid experiences. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. I've left the links to those in the video description. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.